prophetic word. I hot off the press. I heard God say ramp up, R-A-M-P, up, ramp up. So I looked it up and it means increase the level or amount of something sharply. They ramped up production to meet the booming demand. Another thing it means, what does it mean to ramp up? Um, to increase or to cause to increase, to increase the effort involved in a process. What are the synonyms for ramp up? The term ramp up is similar to terms like scale up or step up. Each expression signifies moving to a higher tier of production, volume, and efficiency. So God's saying to those that are here, you're not watching this by accident. Even if you see this five years in the future, it's a now word for you. And he's saying to you, it's time to ramp up. And this is the prophetic word. Usually I just give them, but he actually had me type it this time. And I'm sure he'll probably add to something to this. But this is what he told me to say. The prophetic word. This is not the time to coast. This is not the time to fall back. This is the time to ramp up, all caps, R-A-M-P, up, which means to increase the level or amount of something sharply, to increase or cause to increase the efforts involved, to scale up or step up. It is time to be more productive than you've ever been before, and I am the God who will equip all that you, all who heed and answer this directive from heaven. Now, that's pretty awesome right there. I'm stopping. He will not only, when you listen to him and you say, yes, sir, he's going to give you the equipment that you need. In fact, I believe he's already equipped some of you and you're going to recognize, oh, that's what that was for. This is prophetic too. Oh, that's why that happened. And all of a sudden, some things are going to click, click like a puzzle piece is coming together for you. So he said, um, I am the God who will equip all who heed and answer this directive from heaven. Just yield your all to me. Heed, heed. Be careful to heed my voice. Heed my leading. And you will rejoice like never before. Hasten to act. Take action now. Believe and you will receive. It's greater than you think. Proceed ahead and you will be led by the inner witness of my spirit. It's greater than you think. And then he laid on my heart a situation, an example. For some of you, maybe he's been dealing with you to write a book, write a song, start a business, get into a relationship, get out of a relationship, whatever it is. But he's been dealing with you uh, more on the end of like writing a book. Let's go with that one. Because I've written a book, Seven Keys to the Anointing, under the directive of the Holy Spirit. And... I was a prophetic, I just listened to what the Holy Spirit said and wrote what he told me to write. So let's say he's telling you to write a book and you procrastinate or you're like, oh, I don't know, was that God or was it not? And you don't heed what God's telling you right now and get ready, ramp it up, get that book written. And then an opportunity avails itself to you that they say, oh, if you have a book, we will publish it for you. But you're not ready. And this is what I hear the Spirit say. If you're not ready, what's going to happen is somebody else is ready, and they're going to get their book published. But it was God's intention for you to have that publisher publish this book. I mean, I've got the whoosh anointing all over me right now, so it's very prophetic for you. Don't hesitate another moment when you get done watching this. At least start to write, maybe write at least a paragraph or a page tonight or today before you go to bed tonight. Uh, even if you woke up and you couldn't sleep, then stay up and, and just, you, and maybe you don't have, oh, you're, I hear the Holy Spirit say, someone said, well, I don't even have my computer working. You've got pen and paper, just start writing. And that could be true of a song, that could be true of whatever it is he's dealing with you, that you need to ramp it up and, and get ready like you know that this thing's coming. Because if you wait until what God's got for you comes, you're going to be so far behind the eight ball trying to play catch up right and left. And it's going to mess a lot of things up. So, it, and I love what the Holy Spirit, well, Father said through the Holy Spirit to me that we need to listen to his spirit, to the Holy Spirit. He will lead and guide you. I did a whole message on being spirit led and how easy it is to be spirit led. And I'll, I'll post up the link to that. I, I really encourage you to um, listen to that message because it's, it's basic 101 Christianity. It should be. Because everything we do, we should be led by God. 
And not everything that looks it glistens is gold, as they say. Sometimes it looks like just the right opportunity and it's the wrong one. And sometimes it looks like the wrong one and it's the right one. So we just, I want to encourage you, ramp it up. That's what God said. And he also said to me, um, you know that Benjamin Franklin said, if you plan to, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Well, he's telling you that now. If you fail to plan, you're going to plan to fail. So start planning, start ramping up those ideas, ramping up the time invested in that business, in that writing that book, in that song, whatever it is he's dealing with you with. And the other thing he said to me, uh, there's this guy named Benjamin, D-I-S-R-A-E-L-I, -E that it just popped up on my screen. But the secret of success is to be ready when your opportunity comes. The secret to success is to be ready when your opportunity comes. I'm going to say it again. The secret to success is to be ready when your opportunity comes. Well, that may have been just some man quoting it, but when God's telling you, ramp it up and get ready, be prepared, don't wait, do it now, take action, then you definitely are going to fail if you don't go forward because opportunity this is prophetic. Opportunity is going to come knocking and it's coming soon. And God's giving you a chance to ramp up and be ready for that opportunity. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'm Pastor Becky. This is Becky's Blurbs. My husband, Pastor Eddie, and I are the lead pastors of TransformationChurch.com here in Central Florida. We're meeting at the Sheraton Orlando North. We invite you to come 10 o'clock a.m. on Sunday mornings at 6 o'clock p.m. In fact, this March 13th, this Sunday night, is the second Sunday night of the month, and God said I was to always do a healing school. So I, this is our second week there at the Sheraton, and I'm going to be doing the healing school Sunday night at 6 p.m. So if you need healing, if you can get down to you know the Orlando area, I encourage you to come and be a part of the service. If you can't, um, we'll live stream it, God willing, and, and we have no problems with that, but we will live stream via Facebook. Uh, you'll be able to watch it live stream if you do that. I Please share. Please forward this. And again, thanks for tuning in. I am Pastor Becky, and we do want to meet you. We're, we'd love to have you just come and be a part of the big family of God uh, that we are. So come see us. Love you. Um, I think that's it. And just one more. I'm going to say it one more time. Prophetic word. Ramp up. This is not the time to coast. This is not the time to fall back. This is the time to ramp up. Love you. Bye.